Hello, welcome back to Sir Assist. Adam here and today I'm going to be showing you how to buy and sell cards on SurRare MLB. If you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And don't forget, if you've not signed up to SurRare yet, sign up using the link below and you'll get a free limited card after buying your first seven cards on auction. But that's not all. You'll also be able to pick your free star common card as well, which will be yours to use straight away in the tournaments. You'll also then get another 12 free common cards as well to start your collection today and start entering the MLB tournaments for free. This is the best sign up link out there guys, so what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link in the description. Okay guys, let's get stuck into today's content then. So as I say, today I'm going to be showing you how to buy SurRare cards on SurRare MLB. So there's three different ways to buy cards on SurRare MLB. One of them is by going to the marketplace and go into new card auctions. This will bring up all the cards that are currently on auction by Sir Rare. You can then of course decide to bid on one of these players if you did wish to do so. This works a bit like an eBay auction and if you're the highest bidder when the time runs out then you are going to be the proud owner of that NFT. So if we look here we can see here there's 14 hours 30 minutes left and 56 seconds of this card for Lewis Frias of the Diamondbacks. Now if you did want to bid on the player, all you need to do is click on bid. You can actually see the current bid here as well, that is something to note. But if you did wish to make a bid, you can just click on bid here. And then obviously you'd put in an amount that you want to bid for and just click on the bid button. Your bid will then be submitted and if you are the highest bidder when the auction ends, you are the proud owner of that card. Of course you can be outbid though, but you, that doesn't mean that you can't put another bid in if you did wish to do so. Another option as well to buy cards on SurRare is to go to Market and Manager Sales. So this will bring up all the cards that are on offer currently from other managers on SurRare. All you need to do if you did want to buy one of these players at the listed price is just click on the Buy button. This will then bring up the familiar screen that I've just shown you and all you need to do is just click Buy. You can also put an offer in as well for that card if you wasn't happy with the displayed price. To do that, all you need to do is just click on the relevant card that you're after purchasing. Scroll down and you should see a button that says Trade. If you click on that, you'll be able to then enter an amount that's more privy to your budget. And then you can just click on the Send to Trade. There's also the option as well to add a card into the deal from your collection to sweeten the deal a little bit. To do that, you just need to click Add a Card. You then just need to click a card that you're looking to trade. And then just click Done. You can then go ahead and send that offer if you happen to do that. The manager can of course reject your offer though if they did wish to do so. So that was the three methods on how to buy cards on SurRare MLB. To sell cards it's another easy process. I'm just going to go over to my collection here. And all I need to do if I wanted to sell one of my cards is just click on the player that I want to sell. And then just scroll down and click list my card. I can then put an amount that I want to sell that player for. And then just click list. That player will then be on the transfer market for 48 hours. After that if it's expired and no one has actually purchased that card or made an offer. Then you can of course have the option to relist that card. Something to note though on SoRare MLB that there is a 5% fee for listing your cards on the open market on so rare that five percent fee obviously goes so rare for running costs of the site and things like that managers can of course also send you offers as well just like you can when you're buying a card but you can choose whether to accept or reject those offers so that was it as you can see it's a fairly easy process to buy and sell cards on so rare mlb so what are you waiting for do some wheeling and dealing in the marketplace today to get your squads ready for the current or next season and if you did like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. Links in the description. And don't forget, if you've not signed up to SurRare yet, sign up using the link below. And you'll get a free limited card after buying your first seven cards on auction. But that's not all. You'll also be able to pick your free star common card as well, which will be yours to use straight away in the tournaments. You'll also then get another 12 free common cards as well, to start your collection today and start entering the MLB tournaments for free. This is the best sign up link out there guys, so what are you waiting for? Get signed up using the link in the description. Also check out surassist.com as well guys, where you're going to be getting more free SurRare content. And why not check out the Ultimate Guide to SurRare books as well, 
where every sport is covered, including the basketball, baseball, and football. And there's also a complete guide as well, available in ebook format and also available on Amazon.com. There is some links in the description for these books if you did want to check them out today. Thanks for watching as always, guys, and I'll see you again on the next one.